Hey guys, so today I have some stuff. I just went to the dollar store literally just to get organza bags to uh, cover my figs with. Um, birds like to eat them and I haven't gotten to that point yet with them because they're still kind of not ripe yet, but I don't want to get to it. So, um, you know, I like to cover them up a little bit, but uh, I just see some new fun things there that I want to share with you guys. Really quickly, I wanted to mention, um, you guys remember that with my crafter's companion, one of my hauls, they sent me the wrong embossing board. This is the one I wanted. And to be honest, I might even have this one, but really I didn't pay too much money for it. So I was just like, I don't remember having the milk carton, but then I thought maybe I do have the milk carton. I have the one that has like the little birdhouse looking thing, but that's what I'm saying. I don't know if it came wrong with this one. So they sent me this one over here. And all I did was call, and I mean, I know I didn't want this one though with the hearts, because I, I already have it, first of all. I used to come with the original board. Um, or something, I got a bundle a long time ago and I already have this one. So it's cute, I like this side, but you know. And they're like, oh, okay, no problem. And um, yeah, I mean, they sent me this one, I got here in a few days and I guess it came out of Corona, California and I live like an hour from there. Well, at least the way I drive, it's an hour. It's probably an hour and a half if you drive, I'm not like a crazy person. But um, yeah, so it's not far from here. So it came in really fast and I thought that was cool. So um, like I said, I'm gonna be giving this one away when I do a giveaway here for 2000 subscribers. So thank you guys for watching and for being awesome. Um, from the dollar store, I don't really have too much. Uh, I really just want to show you, they have these cute little baskets. When I walked in, I was like, oh, that's awesome. So, oh, they have these Steven Universe, um, uh, what's it called, like blind bags with little boxes. And I just got these for Diego, my older son, because he likes weird stuff like that. And I know he likes Steven Universe. And I thought, why do they have these at the dollar store? Because I'm sure they didn't want, I don't think they market it just for the dollar store, is what I'm trying to say. And they're a good weight and everything. So I got him a few of those to try out. They have these cute little baskets now there. They have them in pink, um, like a cream color, and like a light blue. So I grabbed this size. I grabbed this size. Those are two for a dollar. They come in a set of two. These come in a set of two. They're more like a pencil, kind of longer. And then I grabbed these guys that were just one for a dollar. And they only have the beige color in this. So I thought, well, they can mix and match. And mostly everything in here is like white and pink anyway. So that works out. And that's really what I want to show you guys. Oh, and I got these cute little stickers that I think will go cute with things that have to do with like the RV whenever I get to scrapbooking that. Sorry about that, my oldest son came down and wanted to be fed. Oh my goodness. All right, the only reason I say that is he's 18, you know. I was like, okay, get what you're gonna get or not. And he's like, I don't want what you made, oh. Anyway, um, I went by my local Mexican store. I Instagram recently, I realized that there's a panaderia not even like half a mile from the house. And the other is also a Mexican market, and it's small, but they have good stuff, and the tamales are real good, and they're only $1.99, which isn't bad for a tamal. And um, anyway, I saw that they had these, uh, I don't know what they call them, we used to call them estropajos, but we call them nuestropajos just to be silly. Um, but these are cool, so basically it's for showering, but um, after a while they get all, like slimy because I guess it just keeps whatever's in there the moisture everything it's so gross but I always remember using these and they scrub you really well so I uh, have some of those and then I was like oh these are for the kitchen this is for um washing like your dishes and stuff and to be honest I don't even think these work that great but I was like I need to get one because why not so I grabbed one of those at the local market there and oh one last thing I want to show you from <laughs> the dollar store, Dollar Tree. I was like, oh, what's this? But it's as seen on TV and it's the build bonanza strips and you put them wherever and then you build like your Legos on them. But hello, I'm pretty sure once your kid, you know, Legos get, get fit real tight. I'm sure once you pull it, it's gonna pull this off the wall or wherever you stick it, don't you think? But at the same time I wanted to try it. So I was like, yeah, it's worth like sticking on like little boxes that they play on anyway or something like that. And we'll see from there. Cause I would not stick it on my house, but um, you know, who knows, maybe stick it to the table, like around his little, um, like drawing table or what, the little table they sit at, you know, she has a little table with two chairs, so that might work out. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I chased one of the tamales because my son's like, I don't want that one. Um, and it's chile con, well, it's rajas con queso, basically. It's just strips of chile with some cheese in the tamal, right? The wrapped up in the masa and they're so good. But anyway. I got a little spice there. Okay, so I gone to um, Barnes and Noble because I wanted to see if they had the new Crafter's Companion, the one with the mandala cutouts um, and some other things. And I know with HSN, even though I signed up for their um, magazine, I think that's gonna be like the last one we get for like a year from now, basically, or nine months from now. And um, I was like, that's such a bummer. So if they have it at Barnes and Noble, I'll get it and then I'll skip that one on the HSN um, uh, auto ship for the Crafter's Companion magazine. 
Well, of course they didn't have it. So, but they had ton, they like just had restocked cause they had like 10 or 15 of each of these issues of these other ones. So I was like, oh my gosh. So this one comes with the celebration stamp set, really cute with little cakes and flowers and cupcakes and balloons and like little roses, very sweet little uh, bunting or little pennant. It has a never ending card kit. And I was like, okay, so is this a thing right now? I didn't know anything about this until Anna Griffin made that die that was difficult to use, which I did return guys, just so you know. Um, and I heard, other people leaving comments that that was kind of confusing and it was a little bit difficult or that they didn't know you need the oversized basically you need the impress machine for it to work right so um people are kind of bummed out about that uh so this has the never ending card kit i thought is it really the never ending card like a continuous card and yeah sure enough if i see here but it's already a card kit so it's already cut out for us um and then the magazine of course and i will after i talk about these a little bit i'll try to do some kind of try out of them which I think people enjoy it seems like people like that when I use do a haul and actually try some of this stuff so this is paper craft inspirations magazine um kind of thinnish magazine um I'm sorry I was trying to read this it says inside moving car 11 moving card makes so they're gonna teach you how you make like cards that move or have some kind of you know fun stuff but I thought what was really cute is that it had all this tropical which apparently is the thing for the season because Anna Griffin has hers, Crafters Pine has theirs. I don't really pay attention to anybody else so I'm sure there's other lines that have that too. Um, just like everyone's unicorns, everyone was fairies, everyone was robots. Remember the little robots? Like everyone did the same kind of stuff or anyway. Um, but it can't be too similar guys because then you get busted all right. <laughs> so here we are. This is really cute with the hummingbird and just adorable. I like the little end of the hummingbird there, little tail. Um, cute stamp set, so that's all it has in there. And then these are the 11 cards I was showing you. They're gonna do spinners and pouring pots. I don't know what that means, but that's really cute, I guess. Uh, cupcake train, oh, that's adorable. Um, anyway, just a bunch of different little things they're gonna teach in the magazine. This is die cutting essentials. This magazine is pretty cute. They always have some kind of like, um, you know, die in like a whole little set and then basically they base their little magazine off of that. And I think, I don't think I bought last month's. I think it was like a tree with like different pieces. And I have other stamps or other dies that are like that. But it, this one was super cute. It's like a little page. And then it has like the tag part or like a pocket. It has, or a mat should I call it. And little tabs and just really adorable stuff that goes along with it. And then they show you how to use it. So with the cards or like to make a little booklet. I just thought that was super cute. So grab that one. Some of these are not cheap. Like basically most of these magazines were $19.99. I think the only ones that was cheaper was one that I'll show you in a minute that was only like paper stuff. And it says it's free. It's not free, you pay for it. But um, obviously everyone knows that, but uh, I'll show you that in a minute. So this one's really cute. I always like these cards. So this one's called Make Special Cards. And this one has like uh, little squirrels and peacocks and designs like that. Um, and this one's always, well, this was $19.98. But when you open it up, I think this is the same brand that I used last time, the same magazine when I showed you guys um, when I made that decoupage card, the little dinosaur card. Let me try to open this thing. Uh, okay, well, I completely destroyed it, so we're not using that to put it away again. And these always come with, like, stamps, and it has card bases. Oh, I love... And I have a feather stamp set almost similar. Like, close to my heart did this, the peacock thing, like, what? maybe three, four or five years ago. I don't know, but I still had the stamps that obviously they don't go bad. I think I had mentioned that in another video. I was like, did I ever finish my thought? I remember bringing it up to you guys that photopolymer stamps are like the best. Like even my other ones, I store them. I have a whole bunch of, um, anyway, stamps just by my window. So obviously the sun's coming in whenever I open the, you know, shades and stuff. And they're perfect. They don't yellow. It's basically my Stephanie Bernard stamps of life stamps, the Sizzix stamps. I mean, I have other ones. There are some that do get older. I think this is Technique Tuesday stamp that I, but it's old. I think it's just mostly yellow because of the way I, you know, been using it. But this was, this thing is like a decade old. I don't even know if I can get it off of this block. Well, I guess I can. Perfect. I just always had it on here because it was a really easy stamp for me to just use all the time to do like journaling or just to make, you know, whatever little lines on your tags or things like that so it's always on here but you know I mean it's just sitting here sun hitting it all the time and it's you know yellow because of the color but not yellowed because it yellowed acrylics might be a little bit different sometimes you find some old ones they get brittle they get yellow so just keep them put away is what I would say um look how delicate this little stamp is though it's so cute with the little feathers um uh, card bases and then like toppers and stuff like that and I tell you they use so much wrapping on these things or packaging I just quickly wanted to show you guys kind of some of the papers, but 
<sighs> this is like the third or fourth thing it's wrapped in. Now these I can feel are just like a little nicer quality even than the other. They're more like cardstock, you know, which is cool. And they're so pretty. I, these are really pretty. I like everything that's on this. And there's the squirrel one. And this really, I'm not like into squirrels or whatever. Like, what's this about? But it's really cute, the design, the way they did that and they put together. And then there's papers. And these are kind of like layering papers. They're thicker than just regular like printer paper, but um, not as thick as cardstock. So they're just a little thicker. So not bad. I guess I'll just leave that there since I keep stacking things on top of each other, it looks like. This is card making and paper crafts. And this one says you can, oh, all these other ones, the pretty much they have offer right now, like, oh, a free whatever, just pay shipping. But that only well, works out in the UK. So this one actually comes with Gemini dies, which is nice. They're from Crafters Companion um, for what they call mandala. And I've never gotten, uh, they keep coming out with things like this on HSN with like these little cards and you can make like a little quilt look or like, you know, I'm saying like just three of them on one side or whatever you want to do, but it's like interchangeable. So I figured this is a good way to have something similar to that without buying that. So this one comes with a little outline. It has that cool die shape. It has this other outer shape. And I thought, what's the circle for? I didn't realize there was a circle one in here, the mandala um, die and then like a cute little swirl. It's the called mandala patchwork set. So I thought that was kind of cool. This one was $16.99, so a little bit cheaper because I guess it didn't come with paper. It just has the die set. I don't know. Actually, it does have some papers. Yeah, it is smaller, though. The magazine in my hand, I can feel because with these papers, it's... But look how pretty the papers are. Pretty patterns. So, it includes matching toppers. I don't know which one of these I'll use, but we'll use something. So this one uh, comes with an aperture card kit, which I thought was really cute. I like the way it's in its own little box. It has a little butterfly stamp. And then um, like right here, free unicorn stamps and dies worth $19 to pay postage, but that's not for us guys. All right, so this one comes with, I, I don't know if you can make 14 cards. This is 14 standout cards. So I'm assuming it makes 14 of them, but it says it has 10 pullout papers, mixed media special. What is this? 59, all new 59 feel good projects. Oh, inside. That's not the thing, but it's really cute. So this one has aperture cards, sorry, papers, die cut sheets, butterfly stamp. This is, well, not the last one. This is the one I was like, oh my goodness. So you guys know I ordered a Hunky Dory um, magazine in my last Crafters Companion haul because they were like on clearance on their site. So they have two now. I think both of them are sold out, but... This is really cool. I love the box. It's very sturdy. It says it has an exclusive magazine and 98 element card making kit, 75 status designs using your fabulous kit, you know, whatever. It has the dies, it has uh, an embossing folder. I didn't notice that, so that's cool. It has the stamp set, uh, two exclusive designer card collections with foiled and die cut toppers. And then of course, um, you know, the papers and stuff. So as you can see there, really cute. Um, I'm assuming these are some of the die cut pieces because these are the dies. It's like a perfume bottle and then a cute little label, a heart and a little bow and then the stamp set. So really cool. Let me see if I can open this one up. So far I haven't seen anything and been like, that's what I'm going to try out for you guys. So I don't know, but I do want to show you what this looks like. So there's the stamp set is in there. It's a good size. It's cute. Obviously acrylic. And then it has the dies and the uh, embossing folders also in here. And then we have the magazine that has you know different ways to use the little goodies that are in here. And you know different ideas, making aperture cards and I don't know stuff like that. And then all these player. Oh, this is so pretty with the gold foil. Kind of interesting. It's an interesting look. You know, glamorous. And they feel really sturdy, so that's cool. Um, let's see here. Oops, I have just a few more. <laughs> Even when I was there, I was like, oh, I thought it was done. I'm like, oh, there's still more? She had more in the stack to ring up. I was like, ah. Oh. I'm telling you, they just stocked them up. So, paper craft essentials. I probably don't have to go back for two or three months, because basically that's when they bring them in. It's kind of like a quarterly thing. Um... So this one has, this is the one that just has paper and it. it was only $12.99, which is still expensive, I understand, for a magazine, but it has foil toppers, it has these cute little, I think these are all toppers, they look like stickers, but I'm not sure. Uh, pattern papers and all kinds of cute stuff, but it kind of has like um, hot air balloons and stuff like that. And then ways to use those items, supposedly in there. 
maybe I'll do that one because it says create quick and easy cards. And that's kind of what I'm in the mood for. It's hot right now. I'm like standing here and I feel like I'm boiling. So maybe we'll use this one. Um, this one's called Make Cards Today. And this is another one I always get. It's super cute. And this one always has stamp sets. It has, you know, paper. This is the one I use for the dinosaur card, I think. Um, so I know the paper is more lightweight, but, you know, that's what it is. It has the 14-piece stamp set, 12 decoupage sheets, two embossing folders. And the embossing folders are usually, like, um, little strip type uh, card blanks and envelopes. Yeah, the embossing folders right here. Look at that with the little tropical drinks, the little pineapples, and then it has these little stamp sets that are like the little bears, and then this is more like a tropical feel. And, oh, okay, just one more. This one's uh, Simply Cards and Paper Craft. Now you guys can tell me, do you remember if I have this one? What happens is I go to the store and I'm like, I don't know if I bought that one, or maybe I looked at it and I didn't buy it last time because I was like, I'm really gonna use that. You know, it's cute, it has the dyes, it has the flowers. So I go back and I watch the videos, like the last two videos where I hauled magazines and stuff like that, and I didn't see them in there. So I bought it, but <laughs> you can remind me, or actually I can look at my pile that's over there of magazines from the last time, I guess. Okay, well let me, Put some of these things away and then we'll open this guy up and we'll put together a quick card. Okay guys, so I hope it's not too dark. I know I have my windows drawn and I have like no light on because it's just too hot right now. It's like 89 degrees. <laughs> and it's a little bit cooler than that, but it's just like I'm so used to it being in the 60s and 70s. This is like regretful, like just horribly hot. I know I grew up in the Central Valley where it's like 109 today, you know, but hey. So I was looking through the magazine to see what we could do, and I, you know, I want to make a quick card, but at the same time, I know you guys like fun things. So there, I was just kind of looking through what they're saying you should do with this kit, and there's some very cute ideas in here. Um, and of course, I get to this page, and I'm like, I'm going to have to do that, aren't I? So I'm going to go ahead and make a pop-up card, a pop-up box card. Now, I made my own tutorial on this a long time ago using one 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, and I'm pretty sure it was not on this new channel. I think it was on my old channel, so it's probably gone. Um, a lot of times when I had a video that's super long, I don't save it because it takes up room on my desktop or whatever. And I probably should have put it on a removable, you know, memory thing. Uh, I have a terabyte, but it's full of other stuff. So anyway, so she has her basic information on how to make the thing and we will do that. And I'm just gonna open this up because I'm gonna need a few of the papers. So this is called the Flying High Kit. And it's really cute. Obviously it says there what's in here. There's different uh, pieces that are really nice and thick. There's some little toppers or seals or whatever you want to use them for. Super cute. More things to punch out, which is interesting. It's like why they, well, anyway. Uh, oh, these are the butterflies. Cause I saw some cards with butterflies. I'm like, I had the butterfly punch it, but no, they're here. So that would have been good. I would have just done that. These are some other like little pennant and banner pieces. Some are, they're just cut out in all different ways, little toppers, a bunch of more little toppers that are super adorable, and then it gets into the papers, which are so cute. Oh my gosh, look at that. I mean, I'm not gonna go through all of them, because like, unless you find the magazine, it's not the biggest deal, but very cute papers. So, let me grab what they say we need, which is basically an A4 sheet of white cardstock, which is interesting because um, our paper is a little bit smaller than A4, right? So I'm going to see if our, um, if what she's saying would, would work on a regular 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. Okay, so I happen to have this scoring board that's from Crafters Companion that has centimeters on one side and inches on the other. So what she wants you to do is take your A2 paper or A4 is what they use and cut it at uh, 14 centimeters. So you're going to have this little piece left over. So I'm going to cut that right now. So basically 14 centimeters um, and I already what I did was I just got on my scoring board got on the 14 on the centimeter side and marked it at 14 so I'm gonna cut it right now and then I'm gonna I'm not gonna make the conversion because I don't know what that is really well but what happens is you will have perfectly um, hold on let me see where this line is uh, I scored it too lightly so it's hard for me to tell where I put my line hold on it's right there. Um, you're not gonna have anything left over for the last tab to hold this, the box together. So we're just gonna use an extra piece of paper to help us with that, okay? So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. I'm just trying to line this up. I don't even know if I did that right. Does it have centimeters on it? It does not. Okay, hopefully that's at 14. And then from there, she basically wants you to fold it in half 
but score it at seven centimeters, right? So now you have a piece that's 14 centimeters deep, but as long as your American paper, your US sizes. So at seven centimeters, we're gonna score it. Okay, so I'm scoring it the long way at seven centimeters. Then every centi seven centimeters, you're gonna score just down to that halfway mark, okay? And like I said, we're not gonna have anything left over at the end of this. So seven, 14, um, and then basically 21, which is off the page, but I already have it marked. So all I did was flip this back again, and I did seven from the top, because if you mark seven from the bottom, the bottom part of this scoring tool will help you make a box lid or a box bottom, so it's gonna be slightly off, so you don't want that. So again, basically, you're gonna fold it in half, and then we're gonna cut. And I'm just gonna take scissors and cut that, so this is not gonna be like super perfect, especially since I can't really see these score marks. All right, let's just say there's one there. And um, maybe I should fold the paper in half first, just, just so I can know where to stop and already have that crease. Oh, Miranda just woke up from a nap. Hi, mamas. Okay, I'm gonna hold you, hold on. Okay, so hopefully you see that and then one more cut. And I'm just gonna create a tab to hold the two pieces of the box, two sides of the box together, right? Because after we do all this, you're, actually I did need to fold it all the way down, duh. Sorry. <laughs> you're gonna uh, go ahead and put your seven centimeters all the way down so that way you can fold the box at those areas, okay? So every seven centimeters you're making your score mark. I'll get you right now, Mama. I think it's going to be a little bit off because I'm already kind of... Hold on. Okay, but you're only going to cut halfway down. So now you basically have your base box here. And I'm going to take care of my daughter's needs and I'll be right back. But basically I'm going to cut another little piece of paper just to glue it on either side of this and just hold it together. And hopefully it'll, it'll do the job. Okay guys, sorry. In the meantime, my daughter got hurt. She was upstairs, she scratched her foot. And the kids are like, I don't even know. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, let's get back to this. I chose some different papers because we're going to need these. We're going to need the one with the balloons, I think. Actually, I don't even think this is the right one. I need to get a different one. Uh, but that's okay. So, uh, you know, I was like, okay, well, I still need to do some paper, some rounding, corner rounding, and then we need to add these six and a half centimeter squares. I already cut them out. They're six and a half centimeter squares, but I was kind of using that thing to help me kind of score it, and then I go cut it, and then I was like, oh, you know what? I think I have that guillotine. Well, I know I have the guillotine, and I think it has centimeters. It has centimeters and inches, you guys, so now I don't have to do that anymore. I'll cut the pieces of paper just like I feel like, but um, so... That's awesome. So if you have this, great, you know, that'd be pretty cool. So, okay, again, you have, this came from an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. I cut it at 14 centimeters wide, the whole length of the paper. We scored it at seven centimeters and every seven centimeters this way, we scored it all the way down. Okay, I was supposed to do all the way down. I didn't do that. And then you're just gonna trim into these, everyone. You can leave one of these not folded because you're basically going to put a piece of backing paper or paper that's going to go the whole length of it, but that's up to you. So you can pick what side is front, what side is back. You know, I'll just say this is the the out the outside, what should be facing us. So we need to decorate this. And basically that's what these are for. But we also want to corner around. So they had us corner around where is, I was going to say, I put it right in front of myself when I organized this area. And of course I'm looking for it, but it's right in front of me. And I always like the larger corner round, but let me see what that might look like. We don't have to put it together quite yet, okay? Well, we're going to have to go with it because I already did it. So I'm going to use the large corner rounding corner. I'm going to corner round all the, all of the tabs, okay, at the top. And then, like I said, we need to decorate these things. So we're going to take six and a half inch, six and a half centimeter square pieces of paper. And again, I'm going to choose this. So we're going to put this on what would be the front side, right? And I cut, these I cut before I knew to come in here and kind of like use the paper trimmer. So they might be a little bit funky. They might be a little bit smaller than the six and a half. You know, they're, they're gonna be a little fun. Okay guys, so that's fine. Um, and I'm just gonna use this. What is this, permanent? Oh, uh, you know what, this one ran out. I always forget that. I put it right in front of me because I'm like to remind me to buy refills for it but I'm gonna use my mono then. And you know, you can do a little, be a little 
better at this than I am. And you're going to try to get that in the middle of your little square. So you know we cut these, basically these squares are 7 centimeters, right? All around. See how that one's off, I can tell. <laughs> um, and our little pieces of paper are 6.5 centimeter squares. So you're going to have a little, a little bit of the white showing, right? Like a little matted area. Yeah, I totally cut these kind of funny. But that's okay. So I'm going to stick all these down, these four. And I'm going to finish rounding the corners and I'll be okay, right back. Okay, guys. So, where are we at? Let's see. Oopsie. Ugh, some stuff's going to fall. I know it's going to make a loud thud. Okay, so we have, again, our base. We already decorated the outside. I do need to add a little piece, that, like I said, to hold it together right at the end. But for now, we put our bottom six and a half centimeter squares at the bottom there. And so what we're going to do is, it says, um, this is funny. Uh, then cut a section of paper that includes the balloons to fit the back panel. It doesn't tell you what size, but basically you know it's six and a half centimeters wide because that's how wide the squares were. And then it's 14 centimeters long, so if you're going to take away half a centimeter, so it's going to be 13 and a half centimeters. So I'm just going to corner around this one too. And now let me think. Basically, that would, whichever one you choose to be this panel, the front of the card is going to, you know, I want to put this towards the back, basically, is what I think I want to do. So I think I want to stick that here, but that means I also need to leave a space so I can stick a tab in there. Does that make sense? Oh, you know what? I can do the tab right now. Let's do that right now before we keep moving on. So, because we don't have, you know, that kind of paper, we just need a piece that's the same height, basically. So I think I have a piece. Nope, that's not the right paper. Where's my white paper? Oh my goodness. That's what I told you guys. I'm getting a little disorganized here because now I have tons of stuff. Okay. So basically, I think... No. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and cut a piece that's about the right height and width. I'm going to make it about an inch wide. And I just eyeballed that. You guys saw that. But let me see. That's a pretty good eyeballing. I'm going to take a little bit off. And then I'm just going to fold this piece in half. So it's about an inch wide, and I'm not even like trying to make any kind of anything about this. Perfect. We're going to stick that right there. So I would probably use a wet glue because it'll hold better, but for now we're just going to put down some of this good stuff. And I'm going to put this down here right on the edge. Oop. That's going to hold together our front and our back piece. Hopefully this isn't you know, the worst idea in the world. So there's that. And now I'm going to stick this piece over that, of course. So how's that? We could do some math. I mean, you could figure it out and maybe, you know, go back to like that video. But like I said, I don't have it anymore. Um, but for now, we'll just do this. And that's kind of what I was saying. Pick a panel not to score. Not to, not to score, but not to bend it, right? That way it stays kind of nice and sturdy. So that's going to stay nice and tall like that. Okay. And now we have to decorate these inside, right? Because once this is a box, these outer flaps, you can decorate those too, but basically you want to decorate these inside flaps. So I'm going to leave it flat for now. And that's kind of what I was cutting and I wanted to show you what I did with the guillotine. But, um, so I have my three pieces that all need to be, um, corner chomped, but you're also going to take an accent piece and then just cut these at a diagonal and I just realized well I don't know how which diagonal I want to cut these at like this it's cute paper um yeah so either way and I'm just gonna cut that with a scissor so these are all 13 and a half centimeter squares and you're gonna take two of them two accent pieces and cut them in half right you need three of them basically which now reminds me if I want to go this way eh, we'll do it this way And I'm going to stick these down, then I'll corner chomp them together, right? So in each corner or wherever you want to put it, you're going to put an accent piece like that. I guess you could, you know, do some distressing and all that kind of stuff. I haven't done anything like that. This is kind of basic. I'm just going by what they're doing here. So we're going to take that, stick it to one of these corners, and then corner chomp. So I'm going to do that for the other two squares also so corner chomp that corner and corner chomp the opposite corner I think oh is it only one corner 
that's weird. <laughs> I guess this other one doesn't have to be corner chomp because it goes to the end, but I think, unless I stuck in the wrong corner, it doesn't matter. So there it is. So I'm gonna do two more exactly okay, this guys, way. We are just moving right along. Okay, so again, 13, 13 and a half centimeter squares. Um, I took a couple of them and cut them in half. Really, you only need three of those halves, but you pretty much need two pieces of paper to make that happen, right? Two squares. Because you only have the three tags or tabs. All right, so we're going to stick these down to the inside. Ooh, hopefully I don't do this too crooked. I think I'm going to end up moving this a little bit crooked, but that's okay. All right, so there. I should probably look at the top and level that before I stick it down towards the bottom, but that's okay. There. And here. I think distressing it would have been really cute too. I'm just trying to get this done, because like I said, we're having a rough evening over here at the Luna household. <laughs> okay. So, and then it says, um, then fix these to the individual flops. Okay, whatever. Cut two 11 by two and a half centimeters strips. So I already have them cut and you're going to score them at two centimeters on each side. So these are two strips cut at 11 centimeters by two and a half centimeters. Okay, and they're going to be folding one folds one way, one folds the other like that, right? And then they want you to decorate this little inner piece and it doesn't tell you what size. It just says cover it with pattern paper. So I am going to grab some pattern paper that we have here. And since it's not really telling you, but we know those are two and a half centimeter strips minus, let's see. Well, let's do that part first. And just so you know, up here, the inches are down at the bottom. So you can, you know, use that. And the centimeters are up at the top, but at the bottom, the centimeters are at the bottom, at the top. You know what I'm saying? So you can line up with that before you line up with the inches. Cause it's kind of hard to kind of eyeball it from, from this top part, right? If I want two centimeters, I kind of have to pay attention and try to line it up with the line that's way farther than this, right? And these little squares pretty much don't line up. Um, they kind of line up in certain areas, but not really, <laughs> okay? So like these little grid squares that are on here. So I want this, if it's two and a half centimeters, I want it to be two centimeters wide. So I'm just going to, two centimeters is just, just almost, almost at that quarter uh, inch or three quarter inch, whatever is the marker here for it. This is a little bit tricky, guys, because i got to really line it up. Okay, so there's two centimeters. And by 11 minus 4, so we have 7. Um, minus a little bit more. Let's say 6.5. Again, we're going to do 6.5. Duh, I guess I could have done that. Just knowing there were 6.5-ish wide here. 6.5 centimeters or so. I just wanted, I was wondering if I did that right. All right. Hopefully I haven't lost you guys yet. We're just chit-chatting away, just doing our thing. So now I'm gonna adhere those little strips here. We're almost there, guys. None of this is like any kind of uh, right. Oh, of course I stuck the strip. <laughs> this is an extra piece. That's not the piece I want. This is the piece. I'm like, this thing lines up perfectly too well. Uh, let's go right here. Something like that. Okay. And the second piece. And then we're going to adhere that to the inside, as we always do. It's kind of funny. They just skip that part. They're like, detach the strips to the center of the box and card blanks as shown. Well, it's not that easy, is it? If you guys have ever made one of these cards, it's kind of... Sometimes they give you a little bit of trouble. Okay. So the reason I say this is because now we got to stick this together, right? So this is going to come around and stick here since we don't have that British paper. Actually, the paper I'm ordering from Preface Companion is British size, but I don't have any right now, and it's not just regular paper. It's like that pearlescent fancy paper anyway. So I'm gonna bring this around just to stick this together. And I guess you could have put one piece down first, you know, stuck one side down before we do this, but I'm gonna stick it down kind of gently, because for now, so cute. It's cute already, guys. Look at that. Just adorable. But we need to adhere these in here. So one going forward like this and back. 
right? I'm just gonna stick in there, and then the other one doing the same thing. Or however. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, if you want the forward, back, back, forward, whatever. But you need those two pieces to be right in there. And it looks like they adhere there is just under the edges here. So let's do that. And that means I need to put tape here. And I'm just eyeballing this because they don't tell you where to stick your tape, like, at all. Or where, nothing. How low you know, quarter inch, half, wherever you want to put it here. So I'm just going to pretty much eyeball this part of it and just get down in there a little bit. And sometimes, if you're lucky, you can close this thing and then it'll, it'll stick it down for you where you need it to be. <laughs> Does that make sense? I'm just kind of shoving it in there. See? All right. And again... I think something bit me. My leg is itching really bad. Okay. So hopefully you saw where I put the tape, or the glue, sorry. So if they're like this, kind of zigzag, I'm putting the glue on this and the glue on this, on the outer tabs. And, oh goodness. <laughs> Ooh. I want them to be kind of the same. That's kind of why I let the card fold and then let it tell me basically where the those little tabs should be placed. And now we're going to take our bone folder and really give this thing a crease. Because that's also helping stick down all the other tape that we just used. But also really reinforcing those little tabs. So when you open it up, they are where they need to be. You can go the other way and do the same thing, but I'm going to leave it this way. Just because it gets more persnickety if you start messing with it more. You could leave it like this when you put it in your envelope so it gets to whoever's house. You know, when they get it, they see, oh, how cute. Or you can leave it like this. However you want to send it off, that's up to you. So now at this point, we are just going to decorate it. And I'm assuming they're just going to use some of the little fun things that's in here. It says, fussy cut two balloons and fix them on the back panel using 3D foam pads. That is a cute idea. So basically that paper that I first pulled out and then I was like, oh, that's not the right one this one which we cut anyway they want me to cut around these guys and fussy cut just basically means that right you're just gonna cut these little guys out you can leave a little space and like I always say when you go to cut things like this turn the paper and not the scissors so like if I'm going up right here and then I'm gonna turn for the little tail I'm kind of turning the paper and I don't know I guess I'm gonna make them rounded the edges, I don't know if they should be just kind of crisp or how. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this guy out and cut this guy out and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're almost done. So I got those all cut out and then let me get these adhesive squares. I have some really big ones, of course, I don't know where they are when I need them because I don't really use them for anything else. But I'll use these round ones, I guess. And um, it just says basically after that, just stick down uh, the butterflies, the hearts, the flowers to the front facing, facing flap and then just fix pre-cut flowers and balloons onto strips of stiff acetate. Oh, that's cute. Hmm. Okay, I may or may not do that. Basically, I said just to, after that, go ahead and stick some acetate to these guys to stick them, the balloons. But really, what's the point? Because they have it down low anyway. I can imagine putting some higher up, right? So it looks like it's floating, but basically at this point you just decorate however you want. So I will attach the ones that they said and then we'll see about, you know, putting anything else here. They use wonderful friend as the sentiment that they stuck on there. But um, okay, so these are the ones I fussy cut and basically we're gonna put one, I don't know, how do they do it? You know, I gotta do exactly what they did. They put one here and one like here, okay. So I'm just going to use the dimensional adhesives, which is always a pain to watch. <laughs> Let me take the backs off of these things here. And you know what would be cute is if we did some that were a little bit flatter and some that were more pronounced, right? Like this one's pretty deep and thick. But these guys, oh, which I have the same thickness and the bigger ones, where are they? I'm going to have to use these little tiny guys, are a little bit less thick so that would make a different dimension right so some are popped out a little more so let's do that so I'm gonna put some of these and so I will be right back once I take the backs off of this because that's one of my pet peeves watching videos where they're like picking out those things I'll be right back okay I'm just trying to see how high up oh duh I keep saying duh sorry <laughs> that's real nice getting um this one kind of goes off the page anyway so you don't need all the little stickies but I'm gonna put it right here he's a little bit higher up 
You see what I'm saying? These guys in the back that are just sticking to my magazine. What I'll probably do is try to reposition some of those down in this area, okay? When we're done here. And then these guys, or this little guy, can go kind of further in, like down in here. Maybe I should have gone a little higher up on that. Oh, that is so cute. And then again, like I said, they took all these different sentiments. Let me stick something on here so that it doesn't stick to everything while I'm working. Um, yeah, so just the different little pieces. There's happy birthday. They have the banners, like they stuck a banner, I think, which is a cute idea on, um, ooh, these are nice and thick, guys, hold on. They stuck this little banner, which I'm going to use wet glue for, for some reason, but. Ooh, that's really, um, call all gel would be really nice, the glue gel. They stuck this on here which looks very cute and you know all these different things so I'll do that I'll have some pictures for you guys again you're just gonna stick a bunch of those little die cut pieces with glue or tape just in here up and down lower higher so it's all filled in you know do the little flaps and all that so thanks for watching guys hope uh, I wasn't too uh, kind of going back and forth with things but hopefully that was a little bit straightforward and you guys try it out See you at the next one. Okay, Bye now. before you guys get rid of me, if you want to do the acetate thing to kind of help you put things so it looks like it's floating, well, if you don't have any acetate, this is just packaging from like a Crafter's Companion die set or something, um, or any packaging really. Just take your little pieces, and I'm just eyeballing this. I'm just gonna cut a piece off, and then I'm gonna cut that, probably a little bit shorter because it's kind of long. Eh. And then cut that in half, or however sturdy or however wide or whatever you think you need. And then you can stick your little item, let's say it's this flower. I know it's hard to see, but let's say you stick your flower glue that to that. And then this little strip, this little clear piece, I know it's hard to see it. Then you stick that down wherever you want to put it. And now that looks like the flower is floating up higher, right? Okay, so just a quick idea. All right, bye now.